Understanding peace for our time, a historical phrase explained. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a very famous historical phrase, peace for our time. This phrase is not just a collection of words but a reference to a significant moment in history. It's a great example of how language and history intertwine, and understanding its context can help us appreciate the depth of English language expressions. So, let's dive in and uncover the layers behind peace for our time. The phrase, peace for our time, was famously used by British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain in 1938. After returning from the Munich Conference, where an agreement was signed with Adolf Hitler that was supposed to prevent the outbreak of war in Europe, Chamberlain declared this phrase to a waiting crowd. He believed that the agreement, which allowed Nazi Germany to annex the Sudetenland region of Czechoslovakia, would ensure lasting peace. The Munich Agreement, celebrated by Chamberlain, was seen as a policy of appeasement towards Hitler's aggression. The belief was that by satisfying some of Hitler's demands, a larger conflict could be avoided. However, history tells us that this was not the case. Less than a year after the agreement, World War II broke out, proving that the peace Chamberlain spoke of was temporary at best. Today, peace for our time is often referenced to critique policies or actions that appear to be short-sighted or overly optimistic in avoiding conflict. It serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of compromising with aggressors or assuming that peace can be easily achieved without addressing underlying issues. The phrase reminds us of the importance of learning from history. Thank you for joining me to explore the meaning and significance of peace for our time. This phrase is a powerful reminder of a pivotal moment in history and its lessons for diplomacy and international relations. I hope this video has not only helped you understand a piece of English language history but also encouraged you to think critically about the words we use to describe our hopes for peace and security. See you in the next video.